The ultimate goal of any dashboard is to transform data into decisions. And as analysts, it's our job to make sure that not only the data is correct, but also that we visually communicate the key messages. Today we'll share our top five dashboard design tips to transform this pretty standard looking Power BI report into a much more engaging and intuitive dashboard to help monitor the health of our rivers, wetlands and estuaries across Melbourne. I'm Alice from Discovery Eye and I'm really passionate about dashboard design. My first tip is to add images into your reports to communicate key insights at a glance. Let's start by adding some images to this slicer using the Chicklet Slicer, which is a great custom visual available on the marketplace. All we need to do is to drag in our image URL and fix up the formatting a bit. Now it's really clear to see what we're slicing our report on. Let's convert this table of waterway case studies into an image gallery using the card browser, which is another great custom visual for displaying more qualitative information. I'm going to make this visual really stand out by adding in our site photos and also our environmental group as a badge. These environmental scorecards are the most important visual in this report and definitely the most confusing. So let's add some images into the matrix by dragging in our image URL. And now we can really clearly see the different environmental categories. Noise is distracting. So our second tip is to simplify visuals to make your key messages stand out. In these scorecards, the numbers themselves aren't critical, but what's most important is communicating the trends in the data sets. So I'm going to convert the numbers into icons. Power BI has some inbuilt icons available, but nothing here really suits my report style. So I've created my own custom Power BI theme file, which includes extra icons as image URLs, using some tips from Matt Arlington's blog posts. Let's now import this new theme file into our Power BI model. And now we can see that we've got a lot more icons to play with. I've added my new icons in using conditional formatting rules. And now we can really easily see the trends in the waterway health across our different river catchments. Tip number three is to select the right visual for your data sets. This default Bing map is pretty busy and these points actually represent river catchments across Melbourne. So I'm going to change it into a shape map. Power BI has a couple of inbuilt regions available, but for this study, I'm going to add my own custom JSON file of our five river catchments across Melbourne. Now we can see the regions a lot more clearly, and it's much easier to filter our data on. Our report is really beginning to take shape. However, we've got quite a few visuals on the page, and it's not really clear which ones are related and where we should focus our attention. So tip number four is to use a layout to give your report structure. I've created this layout using some inspiration from Mike Carlo and Seth Bauer's designs on powerbi.tips. Let's import it as my report background. and just fit it to my report page. The last thing I have to do is fix up some of the formatting by changing the colour of these title cards. And by adding a background, it now really focuses our attention on the key visuals and also makes our report a lot more intuitive. The report's now looking great, however it doesn't contain much supporting information to help our report users navigate the different visuals or analyze the data. This brings us to tip number five, which is to always add context. And adding report page tooltips is our favorite trick for quickly providing context without taking up your precious report real estate. 
I've already set up a couple of tooltip pages here. So let's head back to our main report and change our tooltip settings with shape map. I'm going to convert them from default to report page and select my tooltip page here. Let's do the same thing for these two environmental scorecards. Now when we hover over the visuals, we can see a lot more information about the catchments and also about the different scoring metrics. I've also created a tooltip page with an embedded GIF to help my users navigate the key visuals. And I've taken some inspiration from Chris Hamill and Miguel Myers on this. So let's add this report page tooltip to our visual header of this shape map. Now when we hover over the question mark icon in the header, we can see how to navigate our shape map and also our environmental scorecards. So in about five minutes, with five simple tips, we've transformed this pretty boring and confusing report into a really engaging and interesting dashboard. Let's take a look at a couple more examples of where we've applied these dashboard design principles. Over the next few weeks, we'll be slowly unpacking our environmental Power BI dashboards and going into all the finer details, such as creating and hosting cool graphics, creating your own custom spatial maps, and lots more tips and tricks to create really engaging dashboards.